This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is another configuration of the focus Q. As you can see, we've got two negatives. There are nine plates here, two negatives, one on each of the end plates. I have one positive with three neutrals on this side and two neutrals on the other side. We're going to see what that does. Still running on 12 volts. Okay, I'm going to uh, put the power to it now. We'll see what the amperage reads. That was interesting. There's your amperage. About 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 amps. Okay, we're running, and what we'll do is get our stopper back in here. We'll go at 30. About 13 amps now, 12 volts, and we're there now, so we're at 0, 07. Hook it up again here so you can see the uh, hydrogen coming out. It's really coming out pretty fast. The water is really dirty. I'm changing plates now and the new plates that I'll be using are the new plates that I'll be shipping. It's going to be the 316, 316L or 316 plate, which is a different grade should cut down a lot on this discoloration we're seeing. Okay, so that was the configuration we had then. Now we're going to change the configuration again. This new configuration's got your negative and here's your positive and we've got one, two, three, four neutral plates in between it. There's your new voltage. Our new amperage is one, two, three, three amps. Okay, we're at three amps and we started off now. Fifty-nine. See, we're at one minute. Remember, we're running at three amps. If you want to go to the website, hydrogentap.com, you can see some close-ups of the focus Q. Remember,
remember we're running 3 amps we're halfway there Also remember we're only using one of the twin cells for this test. Okay, at 3 amps, we're there now. That was the configuration at 3 amps. 